Okay, today we're going to be dividing polynomials. And you've been doing this before, but today we're going to do it with missing terms. Okay, um, and let me explain what that means. We're going to go and show you this example. Um, you've been, if you had a third degree or one with a cube on it, in the past you had all the pieces in there. You might have had something that looked like this. X to the third plus 2x to the second plus x minus 30. You had all the pieces in the middle. And today, yours will not have all the pieces in the middle. No. Okay? And so we will be putting place values so that you can have all those pieces in the middle. So when you go in here and you put them underneath the box, you're going to start off and look, this is the highest and it will go there. Okay? But then I don't have a squared term. So I'm going to add a zero squared term. That's just a place value. Just hold its place there. And then I'm going to add, we don't have an x term either, so I'm going to add there. I, this means I'm not really putting anything in there. 0 times x squared is totally 0, so I'm only adding 0. And then I have my 30. Those are just going to hold the place of it. And now I have an x minus 3. Okay, And so I have the place values so that when I do my distributive proper there, the like terms will add, line up. Oh, okay. So we do the same thing we've been doing. All the rest is the same. Let me just give us some room because I think I'm going to need to scoot this up a little and maybe make it a little smaller. Okay, so um, we ask ourselves, x times what gives me x cubed? x squared. Okay, and I put it over the top of the x squared term, x squared. Okay, and so I multiply this out and I go, that's going to be x to the third, and that's going to be negative 3x three three x x squared. Square. Notice now they line up right here. Mm -hmm. They're lining up. And so we're going to come over here and we're going to subtract. I'm going to change the color just so we know that we're changing that because we're subtracting, right? Right. And these cancel out and I have these become 3x squared. I'm bringing down my 0x just like before. Same procedure, we're just adding the little place values in there. So now we're going to uh, plus 1. Yes, we're going to x times what gives me 3x squared? Oh, 1x, so just x. An x for the x squared, but what about that 3? Oh, oh, we're going to have to do it by a 3, so it's yes. x. Yes, so we're going to add 3x. When we do that, we'll distribute that, and that'll become 3x squared. And this will become negative 9x squared. And we'll subtract. I'll change my color so that we'll notice that these will cancel. And I'll have a 9x. I'm losing room here. I'm going to have to make... I wish I could do this with pencil. Me too. Oops. Let's try that again. Okay, here we go. Oh, I took that. That's okay. I'll move that with this. I'll take it out. Okay. This is, I'll zoom in. We can see it better. Now, bring down. Okay. Thank you. Bring down my minus 30. What are we going to multiply? X times what gives me 9. X. Okay. So we need to... Uh, Multiply by three. Careful, this is just plain x. Oh. So we have to. Oh, by nine. Yes, so we're going to just multiply by nine or add nine over here, okay? So that means I'll multiply by nine there and I'll have nine x and I'll have minus 27 and then I subtract. And I'll have a, neg a negative 30. So a negative 30. Yes. What do I do with that? You put it as a remainder. Yes, we put it as a remainder, negative 3, and we're done. So the only new thing is, is we look at these pieces and put the little place values in there. Okay. So you'll, you're always going to go down. We had an x cubed, so we'll have an x cubed plus something squared plus something with an x and plus the number all by itself. Okay. okay? So just look at your problems and put their place values in. All okay. right. We're done.